entering the age of mammals. Oh, we got our first specimen here. Looks like a cheetah. No, you. Very funny. Hello, age second, of mammal. Second specimen. That's the first <laughs> cheetah. Well, I mean, that's a picture of a mammal. Uh-huh. What have we got here? I don't know, it looks carnivorous with those teeth. I like the uh, action poses they have them in. Let's see, 11 is running rhinoceros and leopard sized carnivore. Well, there we are. Yeah, so these are. See how wide that jaw is? Yeah. Oh, look, a llama. <laughs> I think it's a llama, I'm looking at a pop. You never told us. Oh, see, this is this is cool. You can uh, learn more. You ask the alpaca right here. Yay! Oh, wait, I said alpaca. Second. Well, I, I'll still count it. Alpaca. This bit. Reminds me of Aladdin. Careful, this bit. <laughs> the expression on what was that thing in the back? Go back to our. Uh, The expression on that pygmy sperm whale, it looks like, oh, uh, kind of like Patrick Star. The zebra. It, it's Tigger. T I double go. -er. That spells Tigger. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. Oh, I'll come back to that. Overhunting, habitat, habitat loss, increased pollution. Looks like he's just chilling after a long day. Um, I hope he actually got his coat. You think he did? Uh, or does he look sad because he never got his coat? I think he's uh, sad he never got his coat. Well, he got his coat. Look at him, he's like, all I wanted was a coat. I didn't want to be killed. Oh yes, here's our uh, part of the nature garden outside. I believe that's that pokey tree. It is. I, I was trying to remember the exact name of it, but... I want to say gum, but I don't think it has anything to do we'll with it. We'll just gum. call it prickly tree. Prickly tree. From our last visit to the Museum of Gardens. Well, you were like, but ants can crawl up it. Like, yeah, they yeah. can. It's probably your day, though. But a different day. Yes. Or is that a spear? Either way, pokey. Yeah, pokey, yeah. danger. Danger will walk into danger. He has a hand, a cleaver, a right right cleaver. Yeah, human migration. I'll start in Africa and then kind of went all around the world. Well, we maybe land bridge, some debate about that, but. Maybe some research is Tools. Well, that's what made humans so like adaptable is intelligence and the ability to use tools to hunt and then to carve it up after mm -hmm. and then store it even. So Where let's let's uh, de evolve here. <laughs> Homo sapiens come uh, probably from Homo ergaster. 
take a step back to Homo Rolfinus, Homo habilis, Paratropus boise, Australopithecus africanus. That I remember. Australopithecus. Evidence of walking upright as opposed to on all fours. Like Alright, here, here is an early human uh, remains. I don't think they have that here. <laughs> oh, it is, or at least, uh, I don't think it's the, like the real bone. Probably, uh, it is Lucy. Well, I know, that's what I said. But I don't think it's the real bone. It's probably like. Re yeah, right there. Mounted skeleton casts. Yeah, there cats. we go. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think they'd have the real Lucy no, here, so they do a have. Too yeah, rest her <laughs> so I agree. It's like it seems like an important thing, but they wouldn't have that just there. No. Australopithecus africanus. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We have opposable thumbs, but we don't have a tail. Curious George does not have a tail. Well, there's some debate about that too. They have, I believe apes have opposable toes, yes. Plates collide and continent shift. Wow, volcano. And mammoths. Cross that. We saw plenty of dire wolves at the uh, Liberia Tar Pits. And we have also a lot of other friends from the Liberia Tar Pits. Yep, if you look at the location where this one was found. Rancho? Yep, Rancho. Large cat yeah, is larger than the African lion. It may be more closely related right? to the general. Hmm. Talk about big buck teeth. Yeah. Fun for tearing all that meat. Yeah. Well, there was a giant camel here. Yep, yeah. we've seen these before. Ah, oh, here's our Smilodon. Great teeth. Hmm. Was this found at uh, La Brea too? Yep. I mean, why wouldn't they? They have so many of them. Seriously. <laughs> Oh yeah, here's the insult. You short-faced bear. Okay, I got the grizzly bear here, and then the black bear on the bottom. Yes. Yeah. You could probably take on the black bear. Uh, here's another size comparison. Mm -hmm. the, oh, I can't can't move it all the way down. It's yeah, yeah, a little thing. Stopper. Okay. Saber tooth cat, slightly taller, but definitely not as bulky. Uh, no, not There's a mastodon. Dire wolf. Like imagine having a dog that's basically as tall as you. Modern, well, Bison. almost modern buffalo. Yeah. And today. The Western Forest. Yep. Yep. We've we've seen that before too. Yep. Of course. And of course, the 
Yeah, looks like a mammoth. Uh, see, this was a, it's a mastodon. Very uh, closely related, I believe. I don't actually know the difference between a mammoth and a mastodon. Never learned it when I was at Liberia. But it's not an elephant. And this is a Fritz deer. Imagine how long it would take to wear down teeth that are this tall. Oh it says this off of an Equus, so probably a horse. Yeah, our horse ancestor. Ancestor of the modern one. Well, the ones in America all died off later. Horses, yeah. Yeah, the horses that we have in America are from Europe, but the ones we, that we had originally in America went extinct. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of funny. It's like horses they're they're back. gone. Yep. But it's not the yeah, same species. It's probably a, a subspecies. Well, they're not. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, they're not the actual things. But but it says feel. This one says the feel too, and this one says surprise. surprise. Look, wait, look. Oh, not polite. Yeah. So it looks like we have a, a rhino here. Twin horned rhino. And the others are kind of like horse and giraffe relatives. Oh, wait, we got more feel and looks. Look? But don't don't feel. Feel this. I'll one. feel this one. Probably you know what? I'm gonna be a rebel. I'm gonna feel the other. If I, we'll see how sharp they are. If I don't want you losing a. You know, oh well, they wouldn't put it out there. So I'm feel it. Surprise! Yeah, in the grasslands, you gotta be fast. What do we have here? Not a dinosaur. So it looks like a rhino of some sort. Yeah. Rontotheres or Tyannotheres. Uh, let's see. They live alongside other horses and rhinos, to both of which they were distantly related. Okay, so yeah, it did have that kind of uh, look to it, especially with the big horns in the front. Not a dinosaur. No, not a dinosaur. As we were just talking about, speed over the plains is much more critical than like speed in a densely forested area. You gotta be able to catch that prey or escape that predator. Mm -hmm. So we got some hanging skeletons. We're gonna go up on the second floor, check out the exhibits up there and get a better look at those. And here are the stairs. Okay, just finished walking up the stairs. Killed or scavenged? What about a Mako shark? Mm. Mm. This is uh, an extinct amphibious marine mammal. Paleoparadoxy. Oh, there's a pronunciation guide, and I wasn't too far off. Yeah. Is that a fossil? Okay. Touch. Okay. Uh, Drag over bone. Let's let's look at the show. Oh, no. I want you to look over the skull. <laughs> oh, that's the skull. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I'm trying to drag it over. Oh, you gotta look over you here. Look, yeah, you have to leave it there. It doesn't. It doesn't hold. Over here, Ethan. Ethan, grab it. Okay, you can. Sockets. Wonder if I have wisdom tooth bones. I guess you can choose the other bones. Yeah, like I want to okay. look at the shoulder now. Well, we will call a scabbard now. Those. Yeah. Interesting. Mammals are in the Cenozoic area. That's their dominating time. We are mammals too. And it's the same thing we just saw. And here's more of those kind of lines that are appearing on the camera, but not in person. Sorry about that. <laughs> Columbian mammoth footprint. This is a cast. I believe. 
saber tooth cat. See, now, also some from. Have a saber tooth cat. Some of them. I remember growing up with people calling them. Well, I, I'm guessing that tiger's incorrect because here and La Rancho La Brea. Oh, oh no, you're gonna make a Franken monster. Yeah, you need to make sure they're eating the right thing. D diff different teeth are meant for different diets. You know, from the start of death off. Human tooth. You don't get any tooth fairy love. Someone should have gone to the dentist. Well, considering that this was found all after the Never mind. Okay. Mm. Oh, here's some manatee skeleton. The old sea cow. Mermaids. The problem is they're so slow in the, uh, you know, the, the floor and water. It's, they sometimes get hit by boats with propellers. This isn't uh, today's camel. It's yesterday's camel. Hmm. Well, not tomorrow's camel either. No. Well, it's dead. Tomorrow's camel will be born. Tomorrow. Well, it'll actually never be born. There's always a day away. Oh yeah, that was a rhino. I forgot to mention. Oh, I got more uh, Rancho La Brea stuff. Talk about long in the tooth. <laughs> oh, it is pretty old. Let's see where we got this. this yep. Rancho La Brea, of course. Is this a whale? Looks like we're to go on the other side to get this. Yep. Yeah. Well, ankle bones are made for different uh, purposes. Some are made for sprinting. Some are made just for kind of standing around. Slow movement, fast movement, sustained movement. Yeah, flexibility. Yep. And how they stood on their toes, how their ankles are kind of fit that. Yep, here we go. The swimming ones, the weight-bearing ones, the running, the grasping, and flying. This looks like a ground sloth right here we've seen before. Ew, my. Those are, what, pointy teeth you have. One of them kind of looks like an ichthyosaur. But, you know, that was a, uh, kind of the time of the dinosaurs, not, uh, not in the Hall of Mammals, I believe. Yep, this is a uh, ground sloth. You've seen a lot of those already. Uh, some rhinoceros remains here. Lower jaw. Torch. Ah, yes. Reptiles. Crocodile. Turtles. Medium sized turtles. Specific. Yes. Here they are. Ah, we. Long tooth shark. So that L large tooth shark. Oh. But they weren't kidding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, what it says on the tin. Horse and pinniped is what they Giant oyster. Huh. Mm, not what it says on the tin. About 15 million years old. That's past its expiration date. Funny. It's shell. Looks like the scalp. Yep. These are all about 15 million years old. Sea turtles. So we've just taken a nap. Are, these are more uh, other marine things. Okay, and we can finally see what these things over here were that we were looking at before. Relative to sea lions. And walruses. And walruses. I never trust the walruses though. So. Apparently you don't listen to me. No, I don't. Shovel tusked master. Yeah, look at these. A tree. Yeah, a tree. 
extinct marten and the long neck camel. Yeah, what we learned at Rancho La Brea is a lot of stuff can get preserved. It isn't just bones. You get trees and Volcanic seeds ash. and shells and ash. There's some grass stem, apparently. And as well as a small grass eating rodent. That's the stem. Three total horse. <laughs> Look at this. Bear, Bear dog. dog. <laughs> because they couldn't make up their mind. Apparently. Exactly. Now we're getting closer and closer to the tar pits. Snails. Routine Fiza? Striped skunk. Ew, dire wolf. Man, that whole wall of dire wolf skulls, and they probably it's probably just like the tip of the iceberg for them. Huh. Do you have more plant life? More well. Cypress? Moderate cypress. <laughs> oh, okay. So of course the older the deeper, sometimes they do those kind of coring missions in the sea. They go all the way down and kind of look and see what's down at the bottom. How do we know about climate change? Oh, yep. Oh, speaking yeah. of, yep. speaking of. Here are the deep sea clues. And that pretty much finishes the uh, mammal haul for us. Yay mammal haul! Here, man.